Welcome to the video devotion here at Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Vicar Golden. Today I'll be covering the epistle for Trinity 8, Acts chapter 20, verses 27 through 38. Paul said, For I did not shrink from declaring to you the whole counsel of God. Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock, in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers, to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. I know that after my departure, fierce wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. And from among your own selves will arise men, speaking twisted things, to draw away the disciples after them. Therefore, be alert, remembering that for three years I did not cease night or day to admonish everyone with tears. And now I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you the inheritance among all those who are sanctified. I coveted no one silver or gold or apparel. You yourselves know that these hands ministered to my necessities and to those who are with me. In all things I have shown you that by working hard in this way, we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. And when he had said these things, he knelt down, he knelt down and prayed with them all. And there was much weeping on the part of all. They embraced Paul and kissed him, being sorrowful most of all because of the word he had spoken, that they could not see his face again. And they accompanied him to the ship. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Paul gives a warning given to Christ's church upon his departure from where he was. A warning. Fierce wolves will come in. They will speak twisted things. They will draw you away and break you up. They will want your riches. They will certainly want to receive more than they give. So what does this warning mean? What is it? Is it that a new minister of sorts will try to draw you away with slick words? Sure, it is that. But there's more. Someone could also arise from within Christ's congregation. This is because Satan is at work. He is a shrewd liar. The fierce wolves have a pack leader. We are all weak-minded sinners that we will be tricked, we will be lied to, and we will be manipulated. And not one of us will be spared. The solution to this especially that of which I have learned of my time here at Good Shepherd, the solution is simple. It's free, and it's truly liberating. Paul mentions this several times in Acts chapter 20. The word, the word, the word. Paul says, I did not shrink from declaring to you the whole counsel of God. Paul says, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. Paul says, we must remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Jesus Christ fully defeated the pack leader of the wolves. In his bloody death, you have been commended to God and his word. In Christ, you, you the flock, have been built up. What Christ gives up in death, 
he gives to you in life. It is the great inheritance. You have been justified on account of his body and blood. And you are being sanctified, being made holy by Jesus. You, the weak, are made strong and taught to recognize wolves. You, the Christian, then, are to also help others to be strong, to not give in to the wily ways of the fierce wolves. Paul surely sets an example of these things. And upon his departure, it wasn't these acts of mercy and grace of Paul's that they were going to miss. It was the word of God that he had brought to them in preaching and teaching in all its purity. They embraced Paul. They kissed him. Being sorrowful most of all because of the word he had spoken and that they would not see his face again. Pastors will come. Pastors will go. Vicars will come. Vicars too will go. But the word of the Lord endures forever. In Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray now the litany, Lutheran service book, page 288. Page 288. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, hear, hear us. us. God the Father in heaven, have, have mercy. mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy. mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have, have mercy. mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare, Spare us, us, good Lord. Lord. Be gracious to us. Help, Help us, good, good Lord. Lord. From all sin, from all error, from all evil. From the crafts and assaults of the devil. From sudden and evil death. From pestilence and famine. From war and bloodshed. From sedition and from rebellion. From lightning and tempest from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death. Good, Good Lord, Lord, deliver Lord. us by the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, help, help us, us, good, good Lord, Lord, in all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment, help us, good, good Lord. Lord. We poor sinners implore you to, to hear, hear us, us, O Lord, Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church, to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word with your grace and spirit, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to raise those who fall and to strengthen those who stand and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, to protect and guide all who travel, to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness in their blessings. 
to defend all orphans and widows and provide for them, to strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children, to free those in bondage, and to have mercy on us all, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to tur turn their hearts, to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth, and graciously to hear our prayers. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, in this earthly life we endure sufferings and death before we enter into eternal glory. Grant us grace at all times to subject ourselves to your holy will and to continue steadfast in the true faith to the end of our lives, that we may know the peace and joy of the blessed hope of the resurrection of the dead and of the glory of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.